Hello guys, I'm Pricey and today I want to show you my newest invention. This time I want to show you something more useful. Maybe you know that in 1.3 the crafting re recipe for books is changed. Now you need instead of free paper for one book, you need free paper and one lever per book. So this is one reason why you should now build something like a cow farm, a cow breeding system, like I have here in front of myself. So yeah, actually I'm on my test world, how you can see, and yeah, I made some different testings and how I can make the more the most compact design. And yeah, here it is. So this design here holds at the moment six cows pair uh, six pairs of cows six pairs of cows. But as you can see up here I have also three pairs as buffer. So and this design is very resource friendly and cheap so well the way I just want to show you how it works. Push the button, now the cows on the breeding area uh cell. Breed them. And the baby cow gets pushed down and the cell resets itself. So next pair. And you can just do it how how you want. Uh, for how long you can breed new cows. And just want to show you that. Down there is a pressure plate where the baby cow gets falls on and falls on. And then it gets pushed by this piston here and these trapdoors just open and close itself again. So I will just breed some and then show you the rest of it and how to build it too, of course. Okay, and sometimes it might happen that the cows won't fall off and uh, trap doors, uh, through the trap doors. So just push this button and then, yeah, they get reset it upwards. So, yeah, down here the baby cows are now. They just fall through here and, yeah, are down here. So they get collected here. And the parents, they will drop in this water stream and they will go through my cow elevator and how you can see I don't use signs instead of signs I use these um, how they called glass panes because through the glass panes they get centered that means um, with signs you do have the problem that you have to center the cows right to align them in the center and here they get automatically um, aligned because they can't go more right or left because they're just as big as this place here in the middle as is this gap so but for this you have to delete these blocks here on the side of it otherwise now how you, you can see one row of pixel is empty and if you add a block it get filled so now this is actually more when half a block big and that's the problem, so you have to get rid of those blocks on the side. So now I just want to show you how to build it. And for that we will go to an empty place like this. Okay. So maybe I will show it you how to build uh, different parts. So so for the first part I have prepared this this yeah this platform and this shall symbolize the floor. So so to start with I recommend to build the breeding cell so this part down there this blue part for that you have um, you need a bit of well where are this redstone two trapdoors one button one redstone repeater some building blocks like I have here and one sticky piston <coughs> so to begin with so I want to build it right here. I'm just using different wood, uh, wool color, gray wool. So you have to go two blocks down like this. And then build the floor. So now 
this part so like this this you can remove this so you have two two by two squares now you just add one block here one here another one here connect it like this and place a block here now you just have to encase this because here will go the water for the breeding cell just like this okay i will just finish this like this okay the next thing you want to do is open this area just fill in this so make a wall and place one sign right here the next thing you want to do is take one bucket of water and place it here now how you can see if you have done every, everything right the water should go like this and just end here then just add trap doors on both sides go down another two blocks no one, blo one, one more block like this place one repeater take a pressure plate place it like this place some more blocks the piston some blocks so this finished then yeah in the casing on the back for the cages for the cows so now you have just to place some blocks here and yeah when a baby cow co a cow falls down here you just have to connect this redstone to this trap doors so these cages get emptied as well so and you can easily do it like this because the trap door is in this block you can just make something like this I just copy this on the other side and that is it so like you can see you might heard it but if not I can just show it with a redstone torch you see opened okay so that's it now just to reset the uh, whole thing manually just add a button like this okay and of course you can place one block here so that's the first part oh remove this block that's what was important so that's it so for the next part i just made it day and now here we will build this tower so just place some blocks upwards how many cells you want it on you you have to decide that then leave two blocks then place a button on the back side you will place a redstone torch and all the way up every second block and then between the block uh, between the torches just place blocks blocks remove the blocks on the other side and place torches again so like this then you how you can see I placed trap doors on the block where the button is all the way up so in this tutorial I will make I think four cages that might be okay one two three four oh five okay we make five so after you have done this you have just to encase the cages so the cows can't expa uh, escape or however you can also use sheep in this design but I think pigs won't work but maybe someone has an idea how to make it work with pigs or I try it out myself so you can make it like this or if you want to you can just destroy these blocks because they aren't needed because there's a trap door they can't escape yes <coughs> so oh yeah. I forgot some blocks okay like this 
now this should work. Yeah, it works. How you can see now? You can just test it with yeah yourself or mm. yeah that was an issue. Okay, I forgot some blocks in the middle, so now it should work. Okay, now they go down one cell. And I think this is one of the parts where you could just fill the cells. But now the next thing is when they go all the way down, how to refill the cells. At the moment, yeah, they just fall down like this. Oh, by the way, I forgot. This is the output. So here will be the baby cows. So here you can build whatever you want to. Maybe a cow cooker when they grow up or something like that. Oh, I removed. Ah, damn it. That wasn't good. So, okay. Now, here are the outputs. Mm, I'll use another wool color because black isn't as good as you see. Okay. The cows get. Uh, will fall down here. The, ma the mother and the father cow. And down here, you can just. <coughs> make a kennel. going like this well and here in the middle a wall for this I will use glass because you can better see that so Now what you have to do is take some signs or you can also use pressure plates if you want to but you have to use at least one sign. So at first pressure plate here, sign here. Then you have to take a bucket of water and place it right here. Same on the other side. Now that you have done that you can place signs on the side or you can also use pressure plates. So I will just extend it one or more, one, two blocks. Okay. And just make it like this. Now you have to take what building block you want to use. I prefer using glass for this because it looks better and you can just see through. And you have to encase this like this and build up walls to the top, to here. This was a fail. So, and I will just build up the walls and then I will be back. Okay, I'm back and I just built up these walls. And now the next thing you have to do, you have to use glass panes. And place them like this so every second block all the way up like this okay and when this is done you just have to yeah go on the side and destroy the blocks where the glass pane is. Just like this. Because now the glass, pla glass pane is slightly smaller and that's what we want to have. So now the cow is, is able to pass through and just repeat the same thing on the other on the other side. Mm. 
or if you want to you can at first build something like this you can use whatever dirt when you are in survival like this to save some glass because otherwise it would be very expensive to just destroy half of the glass you use <coughs> so I'm just repeating this pattern on the other side like this and that's it so now all you want to do is yeah go in again and place water just right here and down here and then you can swim up and place the water over the signs uh, over the glass panes like this Okay, that's it. The same on the other side. Water, and then swim up. I'll just speed it up a bit. Because swimming takes a lot of time. And it's a bit time consuming. Okay, that's it. Now all you want to do is build it like this and yeah, place blocks and a wall between the two cells and make something like a kennel. Then I just build it a bit too high. Okay, that's okay. So you just have something like this and then you just place one water at the end and also one sign right here so the water can't, can't flow over the pressure plate, uh, over the um, trapdoor. Same thing on this side and the last thing you have to do is place glass as a ceiling so the cows are forced to swim in the water and can't jump out. So now you basically did it, you build it, now you just have to fill the cells with cows and the most easy, w the easiest way to do is this is just to make something like a, fill a refill station here or somewhere where you can just let uh, f let them fall in here, for example. Oh wait. Yeah, over here, for example, and they will automatically go in. Yeah, go in the tower. Oh, and you of course you have to place a block here. Otherwise they will clog up the whole system. So that's it. I hope you liked my tutorial. Please comment and like it and of course if you want subscribe. Bye bye. <laughs>